I think we're all now beginning to, to see the possible and the impact I think will be rather incredible. It was undiscovered little gem over there. And again, it took me like three years to find it. I think the Wendy Park Bridge is a great addition. It shows that when the political will is there, they can really coordinate and make good things. Physically, Wendy Park Bridge is just that. It's 500 foot long bridge that connects Wendy Park to almost a hundred miles of trail that connects the Lake Link Trail to the Towpath Trail to Paga Valley National Park to all points south. One of your questions was how long has the bridge been an idea? And the answer is decades. There is just such this need to connect, really reconnect our city and all of these great assets we have. People will see just how important lakefront access is this isn't just a recreational based thing. It, it is a mobility matter. Um, it's being able to have another option for people to travel around Northeast Ohio, be able to travel around Cleveland. We're really excited to open here in, in the early summer. A lot of people kind of generally know that Whiskey Island and um, Wendy Park are somewhere vaguely near West Side, but they're so hard to find. It took me about three years of living in Cleveland to actually get to Wendy Park the first time. So now that that trail is open, but just to bikes and just to pedestrians, not to driving, that'll be kind of everybody's newfound destination of a park we didn't know about otherwise. It's really beautiful. I think it's cool that it'll be really easy to get over to Wendy Park now. I know like a lot of my friends don't really even know that Wendy Park is, is a thing. Being able to take the Lakeshore pathway all the way to Wendy Park and like go see the Coast Guard station is just such a cool opportunity. I think that's a really positive way um, to, to link up the city and you get these views that you can't get anywhere else. The, the beautiful kind of industrial, you know, history. Students at Cleveland State should be excited about the Wendy Park Bridge one, because it would be great for everybody to hop on a bike and or walk and come use it and enjoy the lakefront. But two, it shows the possible of what we can do up and down the lakefront. The trick is we need to keep it going. We can't have fits and starts. Progress is on the horizon. Biking is a part of the you know, initiatives within the Office of Sustainability because um, I am generally trying to reduce um, greenhouse gas emissions associated with transportation. So if we can support cyclists, that is one way um, to get people out of single occupant vehicles. You know, we provide um, bicycle parking at buildings across campus and we installed um, a fix it station on campus. It's like a, a little stand that has an air pump and all the tools necessary to do kind of basic bike repairs. It's located between the rec center and Swashkowitz College of Engineering. I think CSU could improve by incorporating bike boxes in the parking garages. I think this would help um, with the commuting angle, having like a rental bike box place that's indoors and like secure. And I think that could enable people who are worried about security and are worried about getting their bike wet. It's a good low cost option to like enable that sort of transportation. I mean, I feel like if I were a student, you know, I, I'd be kind of wondering like, where do I put my bike so that it'll be safe. I know that I can always bring my back to my office, so that helps. And they could use a few that are kind of more put away in sheltered areas as opposed to being right out there in the open. So yeah, having a bike box so you know like, you know, I have a place to park. You know, I have lived in cities with exceptional cycling infrastructure. Cleveland does not. <laughs> I do think um, we're getting better and I do think people are demanding better infrastructure, both for walking and for cycling, because we know that leads to a better quality of life for residents. The president's plan for 2.0 wants to actually have many more residential parts of campus, like twice as so many people living on or near campus. So I hope it actually includes the addition of lanes on Chester. Um, going north from Chester to Superior, there could be added lanes and bike stations there. 
I breathe a sigh of relief once I get to sort of the downtown area and can get to one of those uh, designated paths. Like to get to the towpath, you have to go up 22nd at like past St. Vincent's and all that. And it's just like a huge road or like you go down 9th, but either way you have to go through like a super scary street. My commute to campus right now is about five miles one way, and I've been doing it off and on for about 15 years. I could just be sitting there in a car experiencing road rage and paying for parking. This way I get exercise as well as a lot of fun, a lot of joy, in fact, out of riding. I think like Superior needs a lot of work for bikes just because like they have bike lanes, but Superior is just like too wide of a road to even feel comfortable. There are some really cool options, right? Where you put you put cyclists in a safer part of the street, which might be down the middle, right? So you don't have car doors opening up along the side. Superior would be a great street to you know have a real pedestrian and cyclist friendly like experience, right? With maybe cafes that have tables out front. And um, there are some really great examples of, of using streets to people's benefit, not just cars. <laughs> but again, it's a great trend of improvement that I think CSU can get in on by adding a few lanes and interlinked lanes where possible. You kind of get on this great network and this great kind of emerald necklace linking of but lots of really promising and so far underappreciated trails in the downtown area. And I really think with like getting closer to the towpath completion that like Cleveland is able to position itself as like a bike friendly city and attract people to the city because of its mix between accessibility um, for other mm -hmm. modes of transit and like being an urban city.